Hi, everybody. Welcome to our daily Zoom up. It's a meetup on Zoom where we are featuring uh, community members from our group around the country that are kicking butt in some uh, real estate. Uh, the nice thing about this call is you're going to find some average people doing above average stuff with us, but it doesn't mean that everybody does that well. So, uh, you know, you're going to hear some success today. I know that for sure, because I sent out the text and this man just uh, wire transferred a million bucks for five properties. So he's awesome. But I love his story and um, and he's going to tell it. This, uh, but again, if for some reason you're on the line here, not every real estate deal goes well. I've known plenty of people who've lost money on real estate and usually it's because they didn't know enough. And they took action without knowing enough. So uh, one of the keys to uh, working with a good group is making sure that you know what you're doing and who you're doing it with. And uh, this man has learned those lessons to the point he's doing very well. So please help me welcome uh, to the uh, to the call today, Mr. Dan Clark. What's up, guys? Thank you What's so up, much. I'm, just, I'm doing so good, man. How about yourself? If I was any better, it'd probably be you right now. Right now. <laughs> you look like it's uh, nice and warm where you're at. It's like 30 degrees outside, so I need I need to come where you at, bro. But, uh, but yeah, <laughs> is it cold there? Uh, it's 55. Oh, okay, colder than here. Colder than here. But uh, but yeah, thank you guys for for having me on today. Um, just uh, to share a little bit about my story. Um, I met this community five years ago and a week. I think I just hit my, my five year and one week uh, anniversary. And to, to put it into a little bit of perspective and, and, and like, like Scooty said, average people, <laughs> I like that. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm gonna take that. To, uh, I'll put that on like a bumper sticker or something. Like I am average, uh, average people doing above average stuff. But, uh, but yeah, like I, before meeting this group of people, I was extremely painfully shy. In fact, my own mother growing up on the dairy farm, I grew up milking cows for a living. My, my own mother used to call me painfully shy because you don't really develop personal skills when, when you talk to cows every day at 3.30 in the morning and, and seven o'clock at night. And anyway, and so um, when I first met this group and I decided I want, to, I want to become a real estate investor, my wife was six months pregnant with our first little boy. And, and I remember thinking like, like if, if all I could do, if all I could do, we were working to do even a we fraction for, of what these guys are doing knowledge to and, and maybe, so that's why it's good. And, to take and maybe, it. sorry, let me put somebody on mute here. Uh, and, and maybe if I could follow what these guys are doing and do one deal a year, that was my goal. My mindset, my mindset was that big that if I could do one deal a year, every single year for the next five, 10, 15, maybe 20 years, that, that maybe I'd be able to retire off. Oh, sorry, I think I'm on mute now. Am I good? Can you guys hear me now? Um, anyway, I'm not, sure what, I'm not sure what we missed there. But, uh, but anyway, my goal was to do one deal a year for however many years it took. And, and after meeting this group and surrounding myself with a bunch of people that were doing some amazing things. I mean, I saw people buying houses and fixing them up and turn them, turning around and selling them for $100,000 more. I, I saw people picking up properties, using other people's mortgages, buying properties, nothing, nothing out of their pocket and just thinking like, oh my gosh, like I think, I think more than a deal a year would be possible. And, and it took me, oh, let's see. It took me about three years to do my first 10 real estate deals. But to do my most recent 10 real estate deals took me about uh, just, just less than a month. And instead of, instead of being able to hit my goal of doing one deal a year, after joining this community and been a, been a part, being a part of these guys for five years, I've been able to do over a real estate deal a month since we got started. And in fact, I think I'm approaching the average of about two deals a month since I got started. And it would not have been possible had I, had I not met this, these people that were willing to share with me all of the knowledge that they have. And it was, it was so crazy because I, I knew that, that I, if I wanted to get into, into real estate investing, it was buy a house, find a tenant, and hopefully they pay rent. But, but when they started showing me these strategies that literally like my entire life and, and even five minutes before some of the strategies that they were showing me didn't even exist. And that's one thing that you'll find. 
when somebody shares with you a cool strategy that's not just like out there in the world and all of a sudden something that didn't exist before now exists, you're just like, holy cow, well, I'm going to do that. And so it's just, it's been an awesome uh, revolutionary experience to go from being that guy that literally, in fact, some people have heard the story of, of when I, when I met the woman who became my wife, it went a little, because again, I was so shy. She had to walk up to me and say, Dane, um, are you ever going to ask me for my phone number or what? And, and literally, and I, I'll tell you guys how we actually got engaged maybe another time, but you know, equally as funny because <laughs> I was so shy and so afraid. I would, when I would meet new people, I would stutter, I would sweat. And, and when I worked, you know, and in fact, I think somebody mentioned that I worked at the Apple store for a little while that, I mean, I worked in the closet in the back where I counted the iPhones that were coming in in the back door, uh, you know, the back shipping door, basically. And, and so going from, from that, from that space in my life of being super shy, in fact, <laughs> it was funny. I actually had to learn what a realtor was before joining this community. I, I had no clue. I knew the term realtor, but I didn't know what they did or what they were used for. And the whole concept of how there's two realtors on one transaction in a real estate deal. I mean, it was, it was just bizarre to me. I had to learn so many things coming from such a naive and, and such a, a, an ignorant space. And the difference was really two things. It was the knowledge that these people were willing to share with me. And, and it was the relationships that I was able to build. And, and those two things, just building my knowledge and building my relationships made a, the world a difference to where, to where now, I mean, I've quit my job. My wife, has, my wife has not had to work since the day she had that baby, uh, our, our first child. We've got three of them now. It's, cra it's crazy. We're like glutton for punishment. We got three little boys and, and super fun, four years old, two years old, and zero years old and, uh, and super fun. So I am just eternally grateful for the people in this group that are so willing to reach out and share with, with somebody like me that, that you'd probably argue like, ah, maybe hopefully this guy has success. Like, I hope that they will actually may do, do something with this, but, uh, but anyway, there's my story. I, I love giving back now. And, and it, oh, let me just say this too. When you achieve success, and, and success is defined by you, but when you achieve your own success, it will be inevitable. I promise you, mark my words, it will be inevitable that you will want to turn around and share with the next guy or the next gal what worked for you. Human nature states that we inherently want to help other people. And, and when you achieve, again, your definition of success, you will want to turn around and help the next person with what you're learning, with what you're doing, and, and with what you're watching other people around you do. And so I encourage you, like, be the next guy, be the next girl that gets to tell the story. Pay it forward to somebody. So yeah, I got go a ahead, Michael. Go yeah, ahead. I got a question. Um, and th this, is, this is really awesome. And I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with us. Um, my question is, have, what was the fastest deal that you did? Can you tell us a story about the fastest deal you did? Uh, define fast. Like by the time you closed on it and then sold it. <laughs> uh, so I, I just did one uh, a week ago. Yeah, a week ago today, actually, where I bought a house for $430,000. And I live here in Utah and I bought this house in Stansbury Park. So just, I don't know, uh, about a 45 minute drive from my house. So I bought it for 430000 And on the same day, I sold it for 473,000. Now this one was interesting because not only did I buy it and I sold it on the same day, but I sold it on seller financing. And that person, so, so I, put a, I put a down payment of $64,500 and I sold it on seller financing and that person gave me $100,000 as a down payment to turn around and sell this to this person. And so not only did I make money up front, but I will also continue to receive a little over $1,000 a month in cash flow. And I do not own this thing. I am, I am not a landlord. I will never fix this house. I will never take a call about fixing a water heater or fishing, fishing action figures out of toilets. I just get cash flow by being essentially the bank 
on this, on this deal. And I think it's one of my new favorite ways to do real estate because <laughs> I don't own it. I don't have to own anything and I get a lump sum of cash and cash flow for, you know, who knows how many years until they refinance or sell it or whatever. Um, but yeah, so, so I guess, what would you call that? 24 hour turnaround on, on a deal? Yeah, didn't fix it. Didn't, <laughs> uh, yeah, barely. I got, even a question. I got a question. Go ahead, brother. How, how old are you? I just turned 31. Nice, dude. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't make all those 50 somethings mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you made more you, you made more in a day than I made in a year at my old job. That is pretty yeah. awesome, man. Good job. I, yeah, I just did the same actually. I you the most I ever made at my day job was $13.50 an hour. And that's when I thought I was doing pretty good. Mm. and my roofing job and, and working at Apple. I've never had a job that paid more than that until I owned real estate, I guess you could say. And the nice thing about real estate is that even though I picked up this house and picked up this cash flow, it doesn't mean I have to work harder. I work like 30 hours a week right now, Monday through Thursday. I work 30 hours a week. I give my wife a, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday weekend every single week. And, and we like to travel a ton. And so every time I pick up another real estate, it's just like, I don't have to work harder. I just <clears throat> increase my dollars per hour, basically. And I've, I've never seen anything like it in the business world. And I mean, if, if, in essence, if you, if you start thinking about real estate as, the, as a business owner, then the dollars per hour can just go through the roof for, yes. for the hours that you want to spend each and every week. Right. Um, we, we have 115 people here live right now, which is amazing. Um, will you tell us the story about your very first deal when you were that shy guy, still not knowing what the heck was going on? <laughs> tell us about that deal. Yeah. So in, in brief, um, you go from credibility. I call it going from credibility zero to credibility 0.1. And, and I remember being in that space thinking like, oh, well, I've never done anything. I've never closed it. I mean, I had never even bought a house in my life or even my family. And so I remember thinking like, how in the world is wait, this going to work? So hold on, hold on. You bought your first house without owning a house. Yeah. You did I, your first I, real I estate think... deal. Okay, this is important for people to hear. You did your first real estate deal and you didn't even own your own house yet. Yeah. I think, okay. I think we bought three homes. We bought three homes before I ever bought a wife or bought a wife <laughs> before I ever bought a house for my wife. <laughs> um, and then the, both, and then I got a mail order. Hopefully she lets live in no. the same house. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just kidding. Let's, go. Um, Let's yeah, talk about we, that we first deal. Up. First deal. Yeah, so first deal. Credibility zero. I had no money. I was still roofing, making $13 and 50 cents an hour. And, and it was interesting because being a shy guy, and I, I have to say this part, but being a guy, I remember like, all right, I've learned all these things. Where's the deals? <laughs> and I had a rude awakening that I knew I had to now learn how to have a, a conversation with people. And if you learn how to have a very structured conversation, it, it doesn't feel like you're meeting people and it's, it doesn't feel scary. It's just like, oh, when I meet somebody, I just need to ask him these questions. And so I did that with two people. I, I met a gentleman. And I asked him a bunch of questions and we started talking about real estate investing. And all of a sudden he's like, dude, you should buy my property. It's for sale. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, for sale doesn't mean it's a deal. And so I asked him all these questions that again, I was trained to ask these questions. And so there I was asking these questions and I, I find out that this gentleman is in trouble. And then literally within a few days, I, I chat with another gentleman. Cause I'm just going through some of the challenges that, that this community has for people that are new. And, and they're like, like, Hey, like when you're, when you're new, try to have a conversation a day about real estate investing with people. And so I'm just following the, I'm following the challenge, have a conversation per day with, with people. And so I talked to that guy that's got, uh, that's got the, the deal. And I talked to this other guy literally within the same week. And, and the conversation went very differently. The first guy was like, hey, you should buy my property. The other guy's like, dude, I have tons of money and I have no time. You know what we should do is next time you find a deal that looks like what you're telling me that you're looking for, you should call me and let's look at this together. And so I was just like, wait a second. I was just talking to this guy you know, th about this other property 
you and I should look at this deal. However, in fact, you know what? This means I already have one on the table. <laughs> Dude, I was so new. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And so here I am in the middle of these two people. One guy has a property and he's in trouble. One guy has money and he's got no time. And so I was able to call up an attorney and say, help. <laughs> and it was so funny because we were like drawing on a napkin of like what we should do. And I was just like, I call up the attorney and I send, I, I'm like screenshotting this napkin drawing. Hey, I think this is what we want to do. Can you like put this into legal terms? And the attorney's like, oh yeah, I do that every day. And I was like, one, one extra caveat. I have no money, Mr. Attorney. Can you help me? <laughs> Can you help me like do this? And he's like, oh, no worries. I'll, I'll just get paid at the closing table when, when the deal goes through. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. And so the attorney gets involved, he structures everything where this guy's money helps this guy's property and, and everything, everybody's happy and, and everybody gets paid. And because I was in the middle of, the, of all that, not only did I get paid a lump sum up front of a few thousand bucks, but I got a few hundred dollars in cash flow from that deal for three years. And we actually just sold that property in January this year. And that was literally the first time I had ever received a real estate paycheck were on the monthly and then when we sold it this year not only had i been receiving the, that paycheck for about three years but then got another lump sum of cash in the beginning of january and 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 i was able to say i sold my i sold the first deal that we picked up got paid all along but now it's like oh man like that was the first one it's kind of like the first kiss when you know you when when you meet your wife and you kiss her the first time that deal meant a lot to me. So I'm, I'm kind of like, oh man, I should buy that another time. <laughs> just, just for the reminiscence, you know, reminiscence of the first deal. But anyway, that was the hey, first Dane, one. One, one question, because somebody <laughs> asked about the question. We don't have a lot of time, but somebody yeah. in the chat box, what are the questions? What class was it? Was it the class you got those questions out of? Or was it the coaching that you got your questions out of? A uh, little bit of both. Like I, I was one of those that decided I need to be a sponge. If I'm going to, if I'm going to have success, I have to be a sponge. And so, so a lot of the questions that I'll ask people came from multiple people. If you, if you want a specific one that probably gave me the most, um, look up Jay Massey. He's, he's, Jay Massey is one of the investors that's in our group that, that just, I mean, this dude has closed millions of dollars in deals and he shares yeah. a lot of his questions. He's got, a, okay. So that is a class. So Jay Massey does have a class inside of our group. So you want to make sure if you if you're hearing this, and you're interested in those questions, you're like, okay, and now I've heard Jay Massey, get back in touch with the person who invited you and then say, hey, how did Dane got this Jay Massey class? How do I get it? Go yeah, on. definitely. Um, and, and there's a ton more. We are just out of time here. Um, Dane, so how much do you owe on your house and your car now? Well, technically I paid them off earlier this year, but I, I was able to leverage some of the strategies that uh, a guy named Tony Scotty and um, uh, Randall wait Cloud wait teach. Minute. So you said you just paid off your house. When did you yes. buy your house? Um, I bought it April of 2017 and paid it off in August. <laughs> 10 times faster than anybody else in America knows how to do through a bank. So three years instead of 30. How's that? They should have a shirt. Hey, I paid my house. If you'd like to pay off your house in three instead of 30. <laughs> right. <laughs> but because of some of those classes and how I did that, the guy that teaches that, his name's Tody Scotty. He, he taught me how to get massive lines. And so then I could, I could basically, you know, have my house, get my house pregnant and have my, you know, teach my house how to have babies. And so <laughs> I was able to take that house or the house I'm sitting in right now and open up, oh man, $350,000 in lines of credit, no mortgage on the place. I got massive lines now. And I was able to take that cash and leverage it into a bunch, a bunch more properties that are generating thousands of dollars a month in. Okay, so in that's it. That, okay, you're 31 years old. You, the house is paid off. You're now using it uh, intelligently as an asset. How many properties do you have cash flow into you right now at 31? Oh, I don't know, 20, 20 something. All right. Maybe, maybe 30. It's good. To, I, 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 I might've been, I, I might've just said 30. I'll have to check the books. <laughs> Lovey, can you grab the books and see how many houses we're making money on right now? That'd be great. Pretty well. I mean, we awesome. bought three today already. So whatever <laughs> it was <laughs> last Friday and, and the three today. 
<laughs> we just we just wired in nine hundred and eighty nine thousand seven hundred fifty dollars before noon today to pick up three more properties. Congratulations, bro! <laughs> and and <sighs> only like this much of that was my own money. I th I think I only wired in like ten thousand dollars, maybe less. That's great. The rest of that was using other people's money. That's a beautiful thing, man. All right, so I've heard a couple names: Tony Scotty, Jeremy, Jeremy, uh, Jermaine, uh, Jermaine Ma Jay Massey, uh, Tony Scotty, and uh, Randall Cloud are people that you need to learn from because this guy's using what they taught. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely, man. Dane, thank you so much for coming out here and sharing your story. Uh, Pleasure, brother. A huge inspiration, and uh, the way that you're also helping a ton of other people in our community. Uh, that's what that's what this is all about. So, folks, if if you are catching this live, there are some calls and strategy sessions you should be getting on with the folks that got you here to figure out how you can start benefiting from our community and what we have to offer. And uh, if you're catching the recording, there are another series of videos for you to watch to learn more behind the scenes, what Dane went through, his transformation, the same thing we're all going through. Or just ask the person who invited you to the recording to get you to the exposure so you can figure out how you can start. There you go. Straightforward. And then uh, for those of you who were at our workshop last weekend, um, Dane is applying what you just learned. And so there's, uh, there's still time to take advantage of some of the promos that we have uh, basically to the end of this week. So if you want some more help, get back with the person that invited you here. We got a ton more to show you. So catch some more episodes. We have these all recorded on our YouTube channel, Elevate Renatus. Go check the playlist. And congratulations to you, Dane. Thanks, Scott, for being our host today. Everybody else, have a wonderful day. Thanks for being here. See you on your next one.